All right. Well, dear virtual guests out and uh, out along on whatever time zone you may have been, and all of you who have been here in this room today, it's been amazing to see the engagement, the interest, the efforts, the conversations, and more broadly, the engagement from this community. So thank you all for participating. We've got a couple last things to do here. I would really love to call out some of the takeaways that you're, you're going away with from this. And I've already gotten one from our Slack channel, which is that there are lots of efforts going on and BTF Gen addresses some of the issues of handling different kernel structures in different kernels while making it shippable. So there's lots of efforts to make B, uh, eBPF development more streamlined, more able to be engaged with. So that's one possible uh, or one takeaway to take from this. I would love to know others. So Liz is out there with a the mic. Raise hands, talk to us about what you saw today and what, you've really want, what you really want to take away from this. And maybe also how you want to see all of these communities evolve. Come on, it takes a community. Somebody raise a hand. I have no shame, I'll stand up here forever. There you go, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing to see the breadth of uh, the community yeah. and I'm really ho I'm wanting to see it becoming even easier for the end users, for maybe for non mm -hmm. n not the, the kernel hackers to, to use these types of technologies and we are, going, we are approaching that. Uh, that's very nice to see. I love the efforts between 0 to 1 and then 1 to 10, and I feel like eBPF is a sort of in the 1 to 10 space right now, and it's where we start adding momentum to this. And we've got a comment from Richard. Oh, and the earlier comment was from Baroon, so thank you, Baroon. Richard says, my takeaway is to lean in more. eBPF is the future. Maybe. I love the, the qualifier on the end because it's true. When we go out and look in tech every day, we have to, we have to estimate and say, I think this is where it's going. And then because this is open source, we get to guide it. So if we think that eBPF is the future, we figure out where the future is and we take eBPF there. Okay, more comments. Oh, we've got one over here, Liz. Thank you. Getting my running in today. Yeah, you don't need to run. We've gotten plenty of steps even just getting in here this far. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thanks all of you for the day. It was really, really good. And I had to, to choose between Wasm and the eBPF. <gasps> and I was really sure, I mean, I'm happy that I choose eBPF because uh, my feeling was right. There is much potential. And me as a, not contributor, but somebody who wants to implement it in the company, I see much potential, so Bumblebee and uh, the other p presentations were really great, and thanks for this, so my choice was right to come here. <laughs> I am so happy to hear that. I also struggled with the WASM day versus eBPF, but someone handed me a microphone, so my choice was made. <laughs> uh, that's awesome to hear, and can we sign you up for a future user talk? What do you think? Okay, yes, 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 we have a future user talk, that's great. All right, other takeaways, specific things. So we've got a user that's excited about this. We're seeing lots of ways to lean in and learn more. Oh, we've got another. Plus one to that. There's so many cool tools and projects that we could just get our hands on with to get started, right? Yeah. Like just the panel uh, talked about like, how can you actually get started without even writing eBPF or, you know, mm -hmm. doing those kind of things? So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you know, at least to get started. <laughs> we really wanted this day to cover all levels. So people who were curious all the way up to people who want to, you know, argue the finer points of kernel tuning. Um, I have a neat call out here. So Thomas, thank you for mentioning this. We need to make a big shout out to the actual creators of eBPF, Alexi Starov, so oh, this is gonna be troubling. Give me one moment. Starovotitov uh, and Daniel Borkman. So apologies, Alexi, for borking your name, but I'll do it on behalf of Daniel Borkman for us. 
Um, other comments from out in the world, the three-dimensional world, sorry, the virtual world I'm watching here. More qu comments? Somebody's excited about a project or has an idea for a new project? What do you think? You're all just waiting to go to the happy hour, aren't you? <laughs> oh, we've got a question here. Or votes for happy hour, I'm not sure. OK, we'll start with a question here, and then I see one more in the back. It's not, it's not a question. It's, oh, I mean, it's sorry. Our, it's a takeaway. You're right. about the, the day, because mm -hmm. I am from Colombia. Uh -huh. yeah, and I, I don't see many people here from my country. Yeah. But when I talk with people uh, around me or partners in Colombia, and I talk about, uh, you know something about B EBPF? Mm -hmm. yeah, everybody say, no, what is? Uh, Anybody knows? Anybody don't know what it is? So for me, it, it was it was great. All the 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 knowledge that I I take it from this day, and thank you, thank you for the. You're welcome. And this gets to be your opportunity to go back to Colombia and share everything that you've learned, get people excited about it, and convince people to participate in the community, participate online, participate with us. If they're able to join us in person, this open source world, we really want to get more people in. And you're right, Colombia and South America, broadly speaking, is uh, is not as well represented as it could be in open source. And we would love to find ways to, um, to make inroads there. I actually was just talking to someone about communities in LATAM this morning. All right. We had one more back here. Yes, thank you. Yes, so I think I, what I watched here is that as our EBPF is getting more and more integrated into the observability stacks mm -hmm. um, everywhere. So really go, going, someone already told to this end user. Yeah. And um, another point, I was a bit sneaking also into other sessions, for example, on the telco. And also there we see a lot of EBPF, so I think the... Uh, while we have been in the last years um, watching a lot of moves toward um, the cloud providers where we maybe lose also with their service the access to the Linux kernel, mm. but with the edge this is again gaining traction, so I think there will be a lot happening on, also on this level from what I was able to see here. Yeah, I think you're right. We're seeing the way compute behaves and is consumed change. But with edge devices, with embedded devices, with all of that, we have a new frontier, so to speak, more future. Um, I've got one more virtual comment here. We've got a really enjoyed all the ta talks. Thank you, Richard. I enjoyed them as well. And thank you to all the speakers, virtual and in person. This is not a small task to do. And especially two years out of practice, it's not an easy thing to stand up here. You have another comment in the three dimensions? Yeah, hi. I'm from Google. And we actually adopted Cilium as our data plane, which we're running today on the Edge and GKE and Anthos. And I'm actually very excited with what happened and what was covered today mm -hmm. uh, with the community as well as the talk from IKEA mm -hmm. uh, and, the, uh, and the way we can compile once mm -hmm. and run everywhere. So overall, I'm very excited. Uh, I think we are looking at some more ways of making uh, eBPF more like platform style. Mm -hmm. So I hope to see that kind of work coming along uh, in next one year. Yeah. So. I can't guarantee a year. This is open source. If yeah. you want something done in a timeline, no, so we, yeah. you bring your engineers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we are, we are working on it together. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. It's lovely to hear the excitement, the interest, the investment. Hearing an investment in eBPF is also super striking. I had one more virtual comment here. So the rest of you in three dimensions, stick up your hands if you want another takeaway. Um, Thomas says, Thomas Graf says, I'm super thrilled about the many conversations that have followed the impromptu eBPF security model section session. We have organized a collaboration session between several end users and the technical eBPF steering committee. So let's also give a big shout out to Levi for having that impromptu security <laughs> discussion. So let's, let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> uh, 
And then I'll share a tiny ask in there. Someone took a photo of Levi and Tom, and Levi wants to prove to his family he's still alive. So if you could send him the, the photo or throw it into the Slack channel, that would be awesome. Is there anyone else who's up here and has, uh, or in three dimensions with more comments? Takeaways? I think I have one more in here. Oh, I have, yes, oh. Andrew Randall, thank you. Andrew Randall says, thank you and kudos to Sarah Novotny and Liz Rice for being awesome MCs today. So thank you for my compatriot. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> All right, well that's a lovely note and I haven't seen anyone jumping up and down yet saying, no, no, I missed my point. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for being an active, engaged, excited community, thinking about eBPF and figuring out that the future is here but it's not evenly distributed. So help us distribute eBPF into the world. And we'll see you at the happy hour. It's out on the plaza in the sunshine. Yeah, I just want to say, you know, this has been a fantastic day for kicking off conversations. We have the rest of the week to carry on those conversations and to meet each other and uh, take, take this whole thing forward. So really excited that you're all here and uh, it's going it's to be a great the week. And it is just the beginning. Yeah. So thanks, everyone. Have a great afternoon. See you.